Hello, welcome to another episode of Clutch Trick Gaming. Today I'm going to show you the right way to tint your chrome in your paint jobs and you can also change the color and the tint of the carbon fiber as well. I'm going to explore while I'm filming and see if we can even change some other things. So stay tuned. Okay, so ever discover something in your life and you think it's just amazing and you want to go tell everyone else and then everyone looks at you and says, well, of course, no doubt, we know that's how it is. And then you feel like a total idiot, but you're really glad you discovered it anyway. That's kind of how I feel about what I'm telling you today. It's something that you may already know, but for me, I just discovered it. And when I discovered it, it was like an epiphany. I just loved it. It's so amazing. I learned how to properly change the color of chrome instead of what I had been doing for a long time. If you've seen some of my speed paints, you may have noticed that I tend to start with just the regular chrome color or the brass or polished aluminum, polished steel, whichever. And then I come back and I do a decal on top and I turn the transparency down and you're really trying to fight with it to get just the right look and it almost seems like you never really get it where you want to. And then you're also forced to not be able to do anything at all with wheels other than leave them chrome. What I'm gonna show you today will enable you to make chrome wheels in any color you want. So check this out. This is my Alumacraft buggy. And even though it's all themed in pink, I think this thing is awesome the body is pink chrome and the wheels are pink carbon fiber i'm going to show you how i did this so let's enter the festival i'm actually going to start with a whole different vehicle i don't want you to uh have to endure watching me just talk about something that's already painted so let's find something and play with it what do you guys want to paint today Mm hmm. Let's see. Oh. This is a car that will show the reflections really well. Not what I had planned on painting today, but it's what we're going to do right now. The BMW Isetta, I think is how you say this. These cars are neat. They're basically a motorcycle engine in the rear with one wheel, and the whole front of the car opens up to let you in. I've actually seen one of these at a car show once, and it was was looking at it, thought it was really neat, and then I realized it was a BMW, and I almost panicked. It was strange. Before I do anything with this, I'm going to upgrade it just so we can put some cool-looking wheels on it. If there is such a thing. So, we want to go with something... What do we want to do in this thing? Something ridiculous looking. You know, this right here is a wheel that I see a lot on people's cars. Actually, that's not the one I'm thinking. Where's it at? The, it's like Rotoform or something like that. I think it's what the, here they are. That's a wheel you see on a lot of people's builds. So I'm going to go with that and look at it. It's almost deeper when you look at it here than it can possibly be when you look at it this way. It's kind of funny looking. Super deep. So just to help us be able to see what we're working with when we're painting, I'm going to blow these up as big as they'll go. A whopping 14 inch rims. It's got dubs on it, man. The tires, I don't know if I want to keep the white walls. Do we want to keep white walls on it? Yeah, let's keep the white walls. And, oh, you look at this. You guys are making me do a full build here. You don't even realize it. It's all the stinking peer pressure you're putting on me. So let's slam this thing, too. Now what? I'm just keeping on going. This is going to be like a paint tutorial. And now I'm going and going and going. There we go. Okay, look at that, look at those wheels. 
That's hysterical. So this one's actually, maybe I was wrong a minute ago and I said it's like a motorcycle back in with three wheels. It's got two in the back there. Okay, so let's get out of here. We only want to do that for looks while we're doing our paint. Okay, so here we have our BMW Isetta bubble car, or whatever you want to call it, in the paint area. This is where you used to, you would watch me convert the body to a chrome paint job in the special colors, and then come back and throw some decals on top of it. So check this out. It doesn't work on all of them. See down at the bottom of the screen now when I'm on this aluminum semi-gloss? The X button allows us to change the tint. I've never paid attention. I've always been in such a hurry to just blast through here that I didn't notice that. Now it's not on all of them. Like this steel semi-gloss here, if you'll notice the bottom, there's no option to tint. It's just there. And it looks like we can't even do it with any of the steels at all. Um, not even the galvanized. But the steel Damascus allows us to change the tint. So we're gonna go back over here and pick something. This is the aluminum brushed, so like a brushed aluminum look. And we can change the tint on this. So I'm gonna press X. Now, check, a, check this out. First off, it's gonna be set in such a way that just changing the hue, which is another word for color, won't affect it. You're gonna to have to come down to saturation to start with. So now we can change this. Watch it change colors there. You can make it so dark that it pretty much takes away the sheen of the chrome. That actually, I love it. It looks like it's candy. So let's say we want to see through it a little bit. So we turn our saturation down a little bit. You're usually not going to want the saturation turned all the way up. You're probably going to want it somewhere in the 70 to 90 range, I would say. So let's set this on like 80-ish. Set on 80. And now I'm going to go up here and go from the left side of the hue, which is more of an orange red. Oh man, look at that as it changes. I love those types of colors. Let's go through there slow again. I think of some of the greens. I just I love seeing these things, these colors here. I know I'm weird. It's strange. Strange kind of guy. Look at that green, I like that. Not a big green guy, but that one, that looks good. Oh, there we go. I'm liking that a lot. So that's how we do the basic changing. Now you can also go down here to brightness and the brightness just does what you think it would do. It's gonna darken it up. So you can turn this completely black if you want to by turning the brightness down, which would be turning the darkness up. I'm gonna turn it all the way to bright Actually, it looks like uh, coming down a bit actually helps it. So now let's go. I want to go to the full chrome and tint that. I, I really like the way it looks better. Where is it at? There's chrome. So check this out. Now we can do the same thing here. Now I have to tint. So let's change our saturation to 80 like we had a minute ago with the, the brushed aluminum. Look at that. I love that. That is sinking awesome. It looks so much better than when you do the decals on top. The decals on top will give you the chrome lines around your body lines or your door jams and stuff. So we've got that there. Of course, you already know how to do the window tint. Pretty, pretty easy no-brainer there. Let's play with this a little bit. Boom. Now, this is the really cool thing. You know what, let's just do this on the body since this is kind of a quasi tutorial. You can also do this with the other colors. I, I've never experimented with this. All of these two-tone colors, I was frustrated with these for the longest time because I wanted something that was more than just purple to red. So here you see, this is the normal two-tone polish. Let's select it. So now you have the option to change both the base color and I forget what they're calling the other. Uh, let's see, let me get back out of it. Yeah, you can change the base color and the highlight color. 
So instead of going from like red to purple, you can make it green to yellow or green to blue or whatever you want to. So let's, let's first change our base color. This one, as you can see, it's, it's red. The saturation is way up and the brightness is at a comfortable level there. So let's just change the hue and leave the brightness and everything else the same. Watch the color of the car change. Just by changing the base color, it completely changes almost everything. Really neat. Now we can go back and press Y and change the highlight color. Here you can see it's a lot of blues for that highlight color. Uh, again, I'm just gonna focus on the hue when changing this one. Now let's see what happens when we go with green and red. Kind of looks like a little, like a beetle or something. Some kind of bug, like a dung beetle. That'd be a good build, the dung beetle. Anyway, so lots of, lots of doors open up when we start learning to, to change some of these things here. Oh, blue is where we started off with. Let's go to like the purple. That's pretty cool. I'm liking it. So that's that. Now let's go back to our special colors. And I know some of you guys are like, this dude's an idiot. Everybody knows this. Um, paint color. Ah, I've never played with this one. I'm, I'm kind of exploring here as I'm doing the video. So I love the flat or matte finishes. I've never even thought of being able to change it here. I've always done the matte red and then put a decal on top of it. So here we can just start off with matte right from the get go and paint this any color we want in a matte finish. I love it. Check it out. That so this is this is great. There you go, kind of a, like a gray primer type look. I think I was trying that in one of my builds at one point. Let's see here. Da, da, da. There you go. I tried doing a gray primer build and I started off with the flat red and came back over it with the uh, with the decal. So, and this was, this is another one I wanted to, and actually this is what I was doing when I stumbled across all of this. I wanted to make a true candy color, which in the actual automotive world, a candy color is when you take a silver or really high metallic base color, and then you spray a candy coat on it. Candy coat is basically a transparent color. And that's where you have like silver with a lot of shiny metal flake. And then you put uh, like a red, transparent red on top of it. And that's where you get your candy apple reds or like your candy brandy wine is what they'll call some of them. A uh, company that makes that stuff you might check out just to uh, learn a little bit is called House of Colors. I think SEM also makes some. There's a bunch of different ones out there. Those just pop into my mind first. And so you can learn about how those are done in real life. So what I was doing, I came here. I, I knew that this green was the metal flake in the game. And I wanted to put an actual candy color on here. So I came to this color and selected it. And I first noticed at the bottom here, I can change the base color and I can change the color of the flakes in the paint. So this got me to, to kind of goofing around here and thinking, okay, I want, you know, I wanted to make this like a silver, a full on silver type look, which is really hard to do when you don't have an easy button. And so trying... It's going to be somewhere around the shade of blue, something. Can't really knock out all the color like you would on the silver. So this is what I was doing to start with when I discovered this. Then you can go in here and change the flake color. So let's make the flakes red. Kind of a sick pink look there. Uh, let's see. Base color. If I make my base color red and do orange flake on top yeah let's do that I actually did that in a paint job at one of my very first jobs in the auto industry ever 
was doing gold flake on top of a red base coat and it made this awesome orange like you see right here beautiful color love it to death loving this i just love painting this stuff so what i wanted to experiment with while i had you here and you're captive if you'll notice these these uh, prismatic colors you cannot change by the way you can change the carbon fiber not the matte but the regular polished carbon fiber check this out here basically you just have to go in and change the saturation watch how this changes into a red carbon fiber or like a burgundy so I can go in here and take my brightness turn that all the way down voila works great for mirrors and wheels and wings and such gives you that carbon fiber look kind of like some of the carbon fiber stuff you see on eBay not really race cars but it's cool it's fun to play with let's see here let's make it a blue carbon fiber there you go there's the kind of yellow racy stuff you see sometimes actually used there we go so you can make it yourself I like that so another thing I want to check out here I've not played with this one yet is the camouflage colors and it looks like they're not letting me change any of those that sucks because I was wanting to so Oh, it looks like the zinc, nope, can't do that. The diamond plate, wood. None of these others are going to let us change. But the absolute chrome, you can change. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you tint chrome, how you tint carbon fiber, how you change two-toned colors, how you really just get in and tweak and play around and make colors the way you want them to be and it's also how you do a vitamin do library on a bmw isetta i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like the video i hope you'll hit the like button at the bottom and let me know if you like this channel please hit the subscribe button and join us i will do more videos like this i'll also do other build videos and live streams and such so thanks for watching have a great day